Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you are truly loads in the really mad, I load the closest army just to prepare and 33 boxes. Madman, good as fuck, this is 13. And all around we can die. No, um. Where is Oris? Guess we don't have to wait till morning and we can do that. GI Blues. No, we can do it now. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Good. No. No, um. Let's hope Oris doesn't find it any it's suspicious at all that I'm just entering the place from the wrong direction. That shouldn't be an issue, right? I'm just gonna talk to him and he'll be like, yeah, cool. We'll do the work thing. Yo. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. Uh how much for your services? Two hundred caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. All right, sure. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. You're, li you're literally running. Is that how bodyguards work? <laughs> You know, I would have expected him to go like, yeah, cool. But apparently he does actually to just fit up for me. Old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare you. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only Maybe you should have walked so Oris could have finished the sentence. Down to the stopped. right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freeside till you've been to the Wrangler. Yeah, maybe we should do that at some point. What do you think, Eli? And Boon, I guess. Had enough? Boon, did you just shoot one? Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. It's really dark here, there. Are you sure this is a good idea, Oris? Gotcha. Thought you could ambush us, huh? Nice. Oh, examine the body closely. Huh. Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. You only fired three shots and there are four guys here. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Or you just fake this whole thing to drum up repeat business? That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. Alright, after you. Stay close. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Silly. Silly Oris. Oh, well, at least the king will know what is. Oh, here we are. I trust you'll keep your mouth shut about the topic we were just discussing, or else. Silly Oris. Let's go tell the king we have a band of actors on our hands. For the benefit of business. Well, this guy, though. This guy didn't get this lucky. Not at all. Ooh, a bandana. Let's take the bandana because I think I can use it to repair my sheriff's hat, which is rather broken. Oh, I can also use sunglasses to do just that. Sure, and uh, I could have just used the bandana, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Using glasses to repair a hat. Imagine how cool that would look. Because that would not look very cool at all unless you use the uh, goggles to batch up a hat. Because goggles are actually really cool. So they run an advantage there. Hi. Where's the king? Did he go upstairs? 
to his own bed, to his own devices, being the groupies, the devices. They're actually people, they're not devices. Yeah. Very rude of me. Very rude indeed. Well, let's go be even ruder and uh, join them. In the bed. Hey. Like this. Yeah. 12 hours of nap. Just imagine how pissed off the king would be if someone just got into his room and started what sleeping in his bed. Oris is a fraud, he fakes attacks on his clients and then plays hero. So that's how it happens. Okay then, I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something, so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Okay, I'll go over there right away. Good, I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. What do you mean you are crawling at me, Rex? We're friends, Rex. I can pickpocket you, Rex. You don't even have pockets, Rex. Wait, what do you have, even? Ammo? Well, stealing all of a man's ammo would probably be a really good way to make him ineffective in combat, I guess. The best uh, staircase, not here. Oh. There's a first aid box in all of these stalls. Maybe we should um, resupply? No? Maybe? Okay, fine. Hi. Hi. Well, in that case, let's just leave. Right, in the next level, we're giving speech. I guess. Yeah. We know that is. That's the way to the old Mormon fort, so let's do that. Keep on heading that in that direction, because I shit you not and... Wait. I was going right there or something. I just really like the phrase, I shit you not. Because, you know, it's really cool. Yeah. It might have been something like, I shit you not, we actually have some business here this time. Yeah, Beatrix is the one who remembers house from for these times. Ah, I guess our friend is over here somewhere. Are you him? What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? The king asked me to look into your attack. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. What can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. Do you remember anything about the people who attacked you? They were big guys. Young, too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. I, have to get going. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. He saw more than I did. Alright. Uh, Paris? Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. Uh, I can't medic. Him. That true? Did the king really send you? He did. And anything you could tell me about what happened might help. I don't really know what else I can add. There were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Every bit helps. Thanks. Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait. I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. 
Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him, Lieutenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. So it may have been NCR? Seriously? Good morning. Damn it. Right then, I suppose we should go to that uh, squad side of Freeside and... Wait until around 11 p.m. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people! Damn it, kid, you're not supposed to brag about stuff you're not supposed to sell. Wait, am I supposed to... Return to the king with my findings? Oh. Well, you're not the king, you're Pacer. Just the king this time. In his own room again? Ugh. Oh, it's all the way upstairs. Why did they jump to the side? Just a jump to the left. And then a step to the right. Yes. Where are you? Well, Rex is here, and uh, I guess he's guarding the king. Get up, king. Glitch out of that bed. How does it talk to you? Have you found anything out, or were you just here to chat? Uh, the local men were attacked by soldiers. One of the men was identified by rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. That sounds like a valid plan. Hug. Can I help you? Hug. 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 <gasps> Rex gets a hug. Rex gets a hug. Let's talk to someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. Yes. House. That's bullshit. Guess I'm not anyone. Navigating this house is a lot more effort than it needs to be. Right. Uh. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Morales. Alright, I guess we could start by talking to Farkas. That might work. Julie. Talk. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. You need medical supplies? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. What do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. I don't really have a nut. Not much. It seems like you need a steady supply and I just whatever I can grab for you. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. Um, which merchants might be willing to make a deal? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrets, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. Yeah, let's look into that. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. Let's talk about something else. What do you want to talk about? Uh, do you know anything about the NCL soldiers here in Freeside? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? Can you tell me anything else about them? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside. Though, she won't open up to you right away. 
If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Nah, see. Si. You won't say anything, will you? No. Morning. Okay. Where's Elizabeth? Here we have Robert's cards. Guess this arrow leads to. I suppose it leads out. Right, there should be someone to talk to over on this side. Somewhere. Or not. We have completely misread the map. What the hell? There's a hammer dumpster. Dumpster with a hammer. Which is nice. Yeah. Still really annoyed about the fact that apparently NCR troops are giving in to bases at okay? bases way of trying to get the these people right up. Which is nice because it won't serve anyone. Right, there's someone we can talk to over around here. Hi. You're a missionary. You look like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an NCR citizen, would you? I sure am. Now, it's not that I don't believe you, but I'm gonna have to give you a little quiz to verify your citizenship status. That okay with you? Sure. That's a good attitude. I'm sure you'll do fine. These are just a few questions that just about anyone in the NCR would know. All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? I'm gonna say Tandy. Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, The Boneyard, or Vault 13? Shady Sands. Right. Fine, then. Last question. What animal is on the NCR's flag? A two-headed bear, an eagle, a two-headed snake, or a two-tailed lion? A two-headed bear. Good. You passed with flying colors. I told you it'd be fine. I expect you're wanting to know about that meal then, huh? We're located up by the old train station in the northwest part of town. Just tell the guards hope and they'll let you through. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Oh, right. This is why they are here. Now, the question is, how do I... Get to the part of town where I want to be at. I think there was a route through that one house in that one place. Who are you? Oh, you're a free side dog. No wonder you're trying to run away. I suppose you're always this tax. Hey, what do you do to this local, eh? Hey? Hey, can I steal your shite? No. Check it out, between the dumpsters there. Friend of yours? Nah, just some idiot that wandered down the wrong alley. Sound familiar? Hey! Yay, we get the fight. You like that? Why are you so weirdly colored? This you got them to fight me, which was all part of the plan. Nice. What does he have? Sheriff's hat. Ooh. At full repair. And why did I even get my own sheriff's hat repaired? If I could have just gotten a new one. Ah, <sighs> waste of time and resources. That's why. That's why. Well, exploring free site has been terribly, 
terribly fascinating experience, surely. But uh, we should go and find a way to the mayor and the like. Was it really just behind that? I think it may have been. I think it was this zone anyway. Back when we were hunting We've for free side uh, dogs sell, Only on purpose. We may have uh, hey. found a way to do things. Yes, yes, there's the water buff guys, so this is the right direction. Is this the right place? And that's the door to free side. So it's on the other side here. In the abandoned store we were unable to access last time, I believe. Certainly sounds like it, and certainly looks like it, thanks to the fact that there are people standing out here in the private boats. You're troopers, aren't you? Hold up. What's the password? Hope. Head on through. Bye. Here you go. I hope this helps. Elizabeth, hello. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Uh, do you serve food to locals as well? No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you want to bring in? Yes, but I was afraid he would get served. You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. Well, um... Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Yes. Was there something else you needed? Uh, thanks for the food. You're quite welcome. If you meet anyone who needs food or water in the area, please tell them about this place. Also... Yes? Was there something else you needed? Are you with the NCR military? Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. Why don't you serve locals? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. Julie Farkas told to ask. She said it was important. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book. Mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. And the king refused? In a manner of speaking. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now, there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Right. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? So, let's tell the king what, about what happened here, and... That should get things sold. Relatively. Yes. Is there a free side door around here somewhere that I can use because I don't really want to walk all the way around again? This is a really open space, so I hope there is a door. Like over there somewhere. That looks like a door. Yeah. Not the sort of door we were looking for. Is there a way into the place from here somewhere? Because, you know, I might want a way in. Huh. There's plenty of things around, but not one of them really looks like a way into the city. Which is what I'm looking for. I'll take damage, sure, why not? Did you find a rat? Can't run from me. There was a rat. There still is a rat. Go away, rats. So basically, we just did a lap around the place and we didn't actually find way into the city. Well, I guess a looter 
place next episode. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Do you want a running pin boon? I'm from the facial expression. I'm going to assume no. I think he thinks this situation was all very, very silly.